talking about my favorite documentaries and it's been three years and I think that it's about time to do a revised version of that list. So if you haven't checked out that video, um, feel free to check it out. You know, I love documentaries and I love finding a good one that someone has recommended to me. So I'm just sort of paying it forward now. So I'm going to give my top seven documentaries. Yes. Seven. I'm bumping it up by uh, two. So for starters, I'm going to start with Cowspiracy. This one I actually just watched like a month ago and it's basically about the environmental reasons for going vegan. So it sounds kind of boring, but it is actually so interesting. There's a lot of corruption that's going on and a lot of uh, very astonishing facts about how inefficient the meat and dairy in an industry is and how harmful it is to our planet and how no one is really acknowledging it, it's pretty crazy. So if you're thinking about going vegan or you're already vegan, this is just like a total awesome documentary to have to give you a little bit of a backbone when it comes to knowledge about why it is that you're vegan. Next up, I'm going to pick Blackfish and wow, this one really hit home for me. I'm, Coming from Victoria, BC, that's where I, I grew up till I was 18 and then I moved to Montreal and orcas and killer whales were always such a big part of my life culturally, just growing up, you know, on the west coast in BC and that's actually where one of the original aquariums or sea world centers was that they talk about in this documentary. So it really kind of hit home for me and especially just being vegan, like man, I just you know, when you're vegan, you just have so much compassion for animals, and this movie really moved me. It's really, it's about SeaWorld, and it's about the, um, the orcas and the killer whales, and it is just completely heartbreaking, but it is so good. It is so good. I highly recommend watching Blackfish. So, moving on from a little more depressing documentaries, um... The next one that I recommend is called What the Bleep Do We Know? And this one is more about spirituality and uh, quantum physics. And it brings in a little bit of the secret and a law of attraction, but it kind of gives you the scientific explanation for why the law of attraction works. It's funny and it's so motivating and I just totally eat all that stuff up. So if you're like me and you love you know, thinking about philosophy on life and spirituality and the law of attraction and all of this sort of realm of thinking, you know, consciousness, thinking a little bit about your life from an outsider's perspective, you know, being more aware, all this kind of stuff, this is a movie for you, for sure. So number four that I decided to share with you guys, it may appeal more to the ladies that are watching this. The movie is called The Business of Being Born and this documentary changed my view on life really <laughs> like when it comes to just being born yourself and like what you went through but then also like when you give birth in the future and you have a baby or you're with someone that will have a baby like this documentary just gives you real information um, about really what that process is like and how kind of fucked up it is that we have end up in hospitals and drugged up on all different kinds of drugs and we're kind of like robbed of this potentially beautiful experience but we don't have the right information so we're scared of the process and then the hospitals they sort of take advantage of that and it's kind of just like this big machine system that's sort of taken over the whole process of giving birth and like robbed us of an amazing human um, experience which is which is very sad so <laughs> the information in this documentary just totally blew me away and I think that like every woman should watch this really. So the fifth documentary that I chose to share with you is called Religious. Now if you're religious, um, sorry, but <laughs> I mean I definitely have respect for all religions. I think that 
really, I think all religions and spirituality, they're all kind of going towards the same thing. They're all aimed towards the same thing. So I have respect and, you know, I think that there's a lot to take from different religions. Um, but this movie, it is sort of, it's a comedy. It's a comedy documentary. So it's Bill Maher who made this movie and basically he just sort of goes around the world really and he kind of talks and interviews to the face of different religions you know around the world and he kind of just like just makes a joke out of all of it but but he's very smart at the same time so it just makes for a really awesome uh, documentary I think. So the last two uh, documentaries that I want to share with you are both you know directed towards health and are just so inspiring um, and just give you the, the information that you need to really have that make a difference in your life when it comes to your own eating habits. So the sixth documentary is called Food Matters. Now you could sum up Food Matters with that one quote. I think it goes something like, let thy food be thy medicine and thy medicine thy food. And that's basically the whole um, premise of the movie really it's about the importance that nutrition and proper um, eating can have on your life and also just how corrupt you know the, the main mass um, production of the food industry how how kind of corrupt and off course it has gotten um, so very informative and then the last documentary oh my gosh I love this one it's called may I be frank and it follows this one man who comes from like Boston or um, New Jersey or something like that. And he, you know, he's in his 40s, maybe 50s. And he just comes from this background of like riding motorcycles, drinking alcohol, eating like shitty food, just like hot dogs, whatever, drugs. You know, he's been so um, hard and mean on his body his whole life. and. You know, as a result, his life is sort of falling apart. He doesn't have great relationships with his daughter. So his life is kind of just going downhill and he knows it. And he, I don't know, I can't remember how, but they kind of joined together um, with the owners of this raw food restaurant. I think it's in California. And they come together as a team and they take it upon themselves to just make this project, turn him into a project to see, you know, the transformation that can happen um, when you change your lifestyle to a healthier lifestyle, you know, and that has to do with nutrition. So he goes totally raw, vegan, you know, wheatgrass shots. I think he's doing colonics, um, which I don't really know how I feel about those, but in this situation, I think it was really helpful for him. And, you know, they go into, um, they, they give him positive affirmations to do, and he's just having all this emotional breakthroughs at the same time. And it's just like, it just goes to show that, you know, eating healthy, it's, you're not just doing it for your body. It's a mind, body, soul experience. You know, it's, you become more in tune with your body and you become more in tune with your spirituality. I believe when you go vegan and you're, and you're kinder on your body and your planet, it just has such a great effect on your mental state. So this movie, man, he just transforms forms and now he's touring all over the world giving talks and it just is like proof that you know you can heal you can live an even better life you know and it's it's just so moving and um yeah so i recommend that one as well okay so there's my updated revised version of my top favorite documentaries right now and I hope that you guys like these ones. Comment down below if you have your own recommendations because like I said, I love when people recommend things to me. All right, so I'll see you guys next time. Bye.